On this video, we're going to start talking about our adrenaline auto injector for anaphylaxis. As you can see, three different types that we mainly use within the UK are EpiPen, a JTX trainer, and an Emerald trainer. Okay, most people will have known the EpiPen one, it comes in its plastic case. Okay, this is a trainer, it's got a blue lid. It comes for an adult and a child. The adult dose is um, one in three milligrams in one in 1000 solution and kids are uh, 0 0.15 milligrams in a 1000 solution. When we're looking, um, we're taking it out, we're having a look to see the condition it is in. I'm going to put it next to one that has been fired. We are looking for the lot number. We are looking for the expiry date, as you can see. We are looking for the window. We're looking to make sure it's not cloudy. There's no leaks or anything coming from it. Where, and that's your pre-use checks. Once you're finished, as you can see, the needle is still in there. That is just a bit of plastic, so that's still dangerous and has to be securely put back in its case um, and disposed of correctly um, through the patient back to the doctor or give it to the ambulance crew or hospital. Okay. We then look at our JTEX uh, auto -pener. As you can see here, well, again, we're making sure it's in good condition. Again, we're ch checking for the expiry date and the lot number. We are then also looking at the cloud to see if it's there any discolouring or that. Obviously, discolouring, we shouldn't be using it. Okay, as you can see here, it's been fired. Again, it's still got a needle in there and that still needs to be secured once we have used it. Okay, I have the emerald ones. Uh, your emerald trainer, again, you're looking for the lot number. I don't have one that's been fired of these. Um, and we're looking to make sure there's no discolory. You'll see different, um, when we go through the training, we talk about times to apply them. There is, for instance, the Emerald is saying five minutes, there's a new research coming out, but currently just now, um, when we press and hold it within, into the patient, we are sticking to 10 seconds where we can go wrong. This may change in the near future, but right now it's 10 seconds. When we are looking at our patient, now, somebody who has been diagnosed with um, uh, anaphylaxis, the, the pen belongs to them, um, you make sure it's in day, you're making sure you've got the correct well, the dosage either as a child or an adult, you need to then look at what you are identifying um, where you're going to landmark. Obviously we're looking for the upper aspects of the thigh, we're needing to make sure that if for instance somebody's got jeans on like I have, you're making sure there's no pens, things, lumps, keys, money in the pocket, you're making sure you're not near the crease you're looking for a safe area to use. It will go through clothing, but you're making sure that we don't have tons of layers or anything that may damage the needle. Bear in mind that for an adult, we've only got 0.3 milligrams in it, and for a, a child, it's 0.15, so there's not much there. Okay, looking at where the safety cap is, we're looking at where the needle's going to come out. We shouldn't be putting a finger across, because bear in mind that this is only plastic with a big needle. Okay, we need to make sure that we are safe. Once we're up a quarter of the thigh, where we're going to press it. Now bear in mind that a needle is coming out, so the person that has anaphylaxis will be aware of this needle. So it's a human reaction to move away. So therefore make sure that you do hold into them before that you do it. Clearing it out the road, checking its condition, checking its date, checking the window, safety calf off, firmly secure, and what we're looking for is and hold it for 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we're straight back out. Okay, keeping an eye on the patient's um, vital signs and then putting the pen safely away, safely. If the person has another EpiPen, we can use it after a further five, five minutes if patient condition is not um, getting any better.